Shares of Academy Sports hitting a record intraday high after upbeat earnings here from the company. The retailer grew its profits amid a very tough economic environment. It also expects net sales growth over the next year. We're looking at gains of just about 8.5% today. Joining us now to dig into those results, we want to bring in Ken Hicks. He's Academy Sports and Outdoors chairman and CEO. Ken, it's great to see you again. So certainly the street was encouraged by the results that you put out this morning. It is, though, a very tough economic environment here, tough environment industry-wide. How are you navigating it, and what can you tell us just about the inside look at the consumer at this point? Well, it's great to see you, and thank you for having me. Uh, you know, it is a tough time out there, and, and we, uh, you know, did not make uh, the sales goal that we would have liked, but what we did was we delivered a strong profit. And I think that the important thing there and the way we're managing this is we're managing the things we can control. And so we realize the consumer is, is challenged, but uh, we are doing the best that we can with, uh, with the consumer. We've got several areas that are growing uh, very rapidly, but some areas that are more challenged and, and we're making sure that we don't get into any inventory difficulty. Again, what are the areas that are more challenging for you right now? Well, the, a lot of those areas that really peaked high during the pandemic, things like fishing, uh, bicycles, hunting, uh, and exercise equipment. That said, all of those businesses are up more than uh, the, the 30% over two years ago. So they've been at, they're up still 30% or 10% a year since the pandemic. So they're at a much higher level, but they're not doing as well over last year. Ken, can you give us any uh, insight as to how inflation is impacting the consumer? Uh, I mean, do you talk to customers? Do you, can you tell uh, what they're thinking of when they go to reach for their wallet and go shopping? Yeah, they, I mean, the customer is conscious that prices have gone up. We've worked very hard to maintain the prices and keep key price points. For example, you just had bicycles on the screen. We ensure that we have a $100 bicycle so that mm -hmm. the customer can come in and buy a bike or a $59 kid's bike. We make sure we've got a, a folding chair that's been in our inventory and is one of our iconic items. And that's $5.99 and it's been $5.99. So we make sure that we protect those and we think very, very hard about where we raise prices. That said, we're seeing the customer buying more private label. They're buying more opening price items. And so that would indicate that, that they're feeling stretched. And can you tell us how you've been able to manage costs? Uh, I mean, wages have been going up. Uh, it's difficult to get workers sometimes. It depends on which areas. But how are you managing all that? Well, we're fortunate in that we have been able to uh, get the workers we need both in stores and in our distribution centers, we offer a very uh, uh, compelling uh, compensation package for them. But th what we've really done is we've introduced a lot of technology to help us manage the resources and things like uh, uh, scheduling in stores. So we're sure we've got the people in the store in the, at the right times when the business is in the right places. Uh, you know, we're managing things like uh, the markdowns that we have to take, know when to take them at the right time and how much to take them so we don't take them too late or too small. And so we're, we've introduced a lot of technology over the last several years, and that is, quite frankly, paying dividends. Ken, when we take a step back here and look at the broader market, at least over the last week and a half, the instability in the banking sector, some of the jitters there, and I bring that up because during the financial crisis, you were leading Foot Locker. What are some of the lessons that you learned from navigating that uncertain time that you're going to use this time around, potentially, if things do escalate? Well, one of the things for sure is you make sure that you have cash. Cash is, is king during a difficult time, and we have money in the bank. We don't overextend ourselves. We, work, we actually worked with our partners. One of the things, uh, for example, during both the pandemic and the financial crisis, some retailers uh, cut off their vendors and said, we're, gonna, we're not going to pay you. We're going to conserve our own cash. We worked with them and made sure that we paid our vendors. And that's helped us since 
uh, those times because they they look and say we we know who a true partner is, but making sure that you, that you don't overextend yourself, that you keep your expenses in line with what you're doing. We have some rules. For example, we don't grow our our inventory grows at three quarters the rate that we grow our sales. That way we know we won't get our inventory ahead of our sales. And we have a number of rules of thumb like that when we plan to help prevent us from over getting overextended. Again, last time when we spoke in December, a little bit of a different uh, picture at that point, but pickleball, it was all the rage. And you told us that pickleball equipment sales were strong, outperforming tennis. Is that still the case or what are the hot products now? It is it is the the number one sport right now, number one growth sport. But you know, actually all the sports, team sports is is one of our best businesses. It is really they're really performing well. Baseball, uh, soccer, and t- uh, pickleball. Another thing that's really performing well uh, is outdoor cooking, and not just the grills and and crawfish cookers. Crawfish cookers, by the way, it's crawfish season. But we've got uh, spices and rubs, and our spices and rubs have really helped grow that business. And uh, a lot of people are after after they they play ball must be barbecuing. Oh, that's what I need is a barbecue. Ken Hicks, Academy Sports and Outdoor CEO, thanks so much for joining us.